Hey fellas and welcome to Sky Factory 4. In the last video I thought I was prepared. I honestly thought I was prepared, but obviously I wasn't. And this means what? This also means you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, so you should guys should totally do that. Um, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. But I have come more than prepared for this video. I'm gonna say it. I've been busy in between episodes. Fellas, look at this. I have built a huge wall of items. Now all of these things are prepared except these three. I had some issues with these three. All of these items are, f look at this. Fully automated. Nickel. We have almost a full row. Huge amount of stuff. And look at the diamonds. <laughs> so down here, I have added some of these resourceful furnaces to all of the machines to actually turn it into ingots instead. So up here, we're getting ingots of iron instead of the ambers we had to turn into ingots. So remember, before, in these compactors, what would happen is it would fill up with one item right and it would break so i had to maximize the production of these items and then i had to separate both the resin and the acorns in two separate chests and i had to make sure that the amount of resins in this chest is always superior it never diminishes i've also linked up those furnaces over there so last episode i said i'd l i'd change these furnaces over in between episodes which i have it's so much better we have a massive problem on this island if i press f3 right now we have 30 frames per second because of this auto farm that is problematic for four videos i tend to like having at least 120 frames per second but watch this i turn around and i have 110 frames per second. So I've narrowed it down. I think it's the farm. The problem with this is that the farm is in the middle of our base. So all of this production is in the middle where we work all of the time. So what I'm planning to do is separate the machining area and the storage area. So Captain Fletchland, buddy, we have an emergency. For this video, we are going to need some gold. Now, I haven't automated the gold yet. However, I have, as it turns out, the perfect amount of gold that we will need in this video. We also will need a lot of quartz. I'm not sure we have enough quartz. Uh, oh, oh yeah, we have enough quartz. <laughs> we need stone slabs. I'll show you this new system that we've made. So these furnaces, they will cook up all of the stone three by three way faster than a normal furnace. So this acts as like six furnaces right off the bat and remember all of this is powered by our coal power plant oh my god the frames which is literally we need to use power right now we have a problem with the amount of power we have we have too much power Let, let's craft a whole bunch of these slabs okay so there we go we have a whole bunch of slabs now let me go to my iron generator over here so what we need to do is we need to put two rows of those there and then do this. There we go. We now have a whole bunch of storage cables. These storage cables will allow us to do something with all of this storage and we'll be able to work over there where there's 120 frames per second. God, the frame rate at the moment is just... Look at this. Oh, that is... That is atrocious. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to craft this. Now this is a storage requesting table. And then the other thing we're gonna need is a storage network master, which is why we need so much quartz. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna need is a singular diamond. We're gonna need one diamond. Yep, we'll take 40 diamonds, there we go. <laughs> Just remember that is fully automated and it's, it's only been going 24 hours. <laughs> if I make this storage master table, there we go. Storage network master. We now have all three things we're going to need for this episode. That's it. And this is the complicated part, right? You guys know how all of these are linked to a storage system. Dudes, I have some bad news. All of these chests, all of these compact chests we have to replace with filing cabinets. So that's gonna take a lot of time. And then afterwards, once we've got those filing cabinets with the only files we need, we need to link all of the back filing cabinets, the ones over there, right? With all of those items in, to all of these filing cabinets, to all of those filing cabinets, and then bring the cable right across the other side of the map and bring it right over there. But we can bring it through there, down to the ground, and then we can bring it back through right here and link all of these up as well. So I just thought of something. While I was doing this, I thought, what if I need more cable? Because this iron is what 
makes the cable. So I thought, hmm, probably best not to do this just yet. What's probably best to do is to link it up to the system that we're going to do over there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here where there's a nice smooth 114 frames per second and like that we don't have too far to walk to go over there because when we look over there it's still 120 frames per second believe it or not all of those machines are still doing their thing okay so for now this is what this little thing looks like it's not like a massively impressive platform or anything but what it is is lag free which is going to be really really awesome to do all of the rest of the videos that we're going to be doing on this server the main thing that i want to do is place down these two units now these two units what they do look at this this is basically a simplified me storage system look at that okay so what i've just done is i've linked that all of those units over there with this storage system interface right here look at this we have access to every chest over there in that laggy base in an area with over 80 frames per second i am happy i'm very happy with this system i like it a lot we have access to all of this iron actually how much iron do we have guys comment down below how much iron you th you think we'll have by next episode because currently i think we're at let's have a look at this if i type in iron we're at three thousand iron three thousand let that sink in we're also we've not actually got much coal because most of the coal goes straight into the system how many diamonds do we have? Wow, 5,000 diamonds. <laughs> okay, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and join the Sticko squad. Join the tree. Join the family tree. I guess I can keep that. That's quite a good... Yeah, I like that, actually. Join the family tree, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.